have supported for arrangement and made the event success. I thank the management and all the members of teaching nautical staff and the students who have always supported our endeavors to keep up the college prestige of the colleges. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Now, I'll be very pleased to invite the young vice chairman of REC, Dr. Muhammad Arif Rizwan, to share his inspirational views and advice. Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. Muhammad Ali Rafat Sahab, retired IAS and presently the member of AP Service Commission. My respected father, the chairman of New Royal Educational Society, Jinnab Muhammad Siddiq Sahab, principal of Royal Institute of Technology and Science, Dr. Samir Basha, Dean of Academic, Professor Sayyid Abdul Sattar Sahab, Vice Principal of this institute, Dr. Sardar Ali Sahab, Principal of our B. Ed. College, Mr. Basha, all head of the department, students, staff, and dear parents. Assalamu alaikum. <coughs> I'll start with a small couplet which I've got it for the students and it is in my mother tongue which is Urdu. It is for the students. Tum shauk me college me padho mumkin hai padao me udo arsh ko chulo is bande na cheez ki is baat रहे यार अल्लाह को और अपनी हकीकत को ना भूलो रॉयल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड साइंस इट वाज एस्टैब्लिश इन 2002 विद ओनली फोर बीटेक कोर्सेस electronics and computer science. Now, after a decade, we have got six UG courses, 11 MTech courses, Alhamdulillah, MBA and B.Ed. as well. B.Ed. college which we have uh, started this year. The sole aim of establishing this Institute was to impart quality of education in the best possible manner and to shape our students in such a way that they be an asset to this country. Aim the main aim was quality of providing quality of education to the students. And Alhamdulillah, I think we have done and worked a lot uh, on this subject. The other thing is, as said by uh, our principal, all the activities which have taken up by our team of staff members for the whole academic year for the present and the previous years, we have seen the uh, fruits of the fruits of our college also in and around our city and abroad also. Here, what we did for the student is firstly it was discipline which is needed 
in every part of the life. It is not only with the students there, they should be in discipline during the class hour. We have worked hard that every minute of his life should be in discipline. That reads up very well explained to the student. Now, this is an event for which all the students will be waiting for the year. Here, I want to bring into the notice of the students and parents that the efforts which we are taking up to provide the quality of education we want to be we, we want you to be the part of that management staff only cannot get you to the mark which you have set you have to be with the staff members and be regular to the class then only you can achieve what is required as for the market. So whatever might be the programs which have been conducted from the start of the academic year to the end of the academic year, the participation of the student was not up to the mark. So I personally tell the students to make, to make yourself present and participate in such programs so that you can develop overall. Here, one more thing for the second, first, second, and third year students is you need to plan your future when you join in your engineering first year, first year itself. In the third year itself, you should be ready that whenever you get your degree, you have to fly or whatever you have planned. But you need to plan before the time. Then only you can make the most of the time. So my dear students, fourth year students, anyhow, they have completed their engineering. Now they will be in the market. I congratulate them that for successful completion of their four years uh, and I tell the students of second and third year that you plan your future from second and first year itself so that you will not face difficulties in planning the future in a proper way. Many of the students when they come to me, I am very sorry to say that they don't plan the future and once they complete it, they will be roaming after the completion of this course. It is only because that they don't plan it before the time. So, my dear students, especially second, third year students, you plan your future, now itself, you be a part of sports, academic, all the activities. We want, to be, we want you to be a part, part of the, each and every program. But plan your future. <clears throat> what the responsibilities? What the responsibilities of a student is? Alhamdulillah, today we have got a very good campus, which is located at Chevrela, and we have ex uh, we have ex we expect feedback from the students for what we have provided and what more suggestions. Always we encourage you to give your suggestion so that we can improve in future, we can uh, take steps as per the requirement of the student. But it has to be from your side. You are always welcome to suggest us for the changes you require. But only some of the students come up with the suggestion. From Ritz have more than 3,000 students now. So whatever, I need you to suggest from your side what can be done, 
to improve more our institute <coughs> sorry and i always welcome any of your suggestion or idea for the upswing of the college so i think definitely in future i am expecting more suggestions from the students i am expecting i am not able to hear any voice from the students can i expect suggestions from you <clears throat> for the betterment of the institute and the students what do you say yes, yes. not only for the engineering students mba bs all the students you are welcome for your suggestions and i do not want to take much of your time i will complete uh, my request with a small couplet again and it is for all of us allah se kare dur to taleem bhi fitna amlaak bhi aulaad bhi jaagir bhi fitna na haq ke liye uthe to shamshir bhi fitna shamshir hi kya nare takbir bhi fitna alhamdulillah and congratulate you once again for the successful completion of your academic year we are pray our prayers are with you and will be always for you inshallah thank you thank you very much janab mohammad siddiq sahab chairman of rights mr arif rizwan principals hods parents and my dear students i have a couple of thoughts to share with you i was associated with the department of education and i was in charge of primary education a couple of years ago when an overview was taken of the situation of higher education in our country particularly in the field of engineering certain startling observations came out uh, which you must remember and pay attention to number one was our engineering students they badly fall short of communication skills when i say communication skills it's obviously english communication ability to speak ability to write ability to present your ideas in simple professional english this is true of all the engineering colleges across the country barring a few and the second very sad observation was i'm sorry i should not use this word expression sad but the fact remains that it's a sad reality that is the study says 75% of the engineering graduates they are not employable in the industry and this is something very bad something that we need to pay our attention to something we try to obviate you won't feel happy when i say this but the reality of life doesn't change if i don't share this with you i will not be doing justice to my job here this evening so my dear friend when we were students in our school days we had wonderful teachers i don't want to 
take your time narrating your names and achievements of all my teachers, but just one example I would like to share. We had a physics teacher who used to practice physics in the classroom. That is, he used to make radios, radiograms, and make us listen to the program just for a few minutes, not for long. But he wanted to demonstrate his ability to do something with sound. <laughs> what do you understand by this? Whatever he was teaching, he was practicing. When we complained to him, okay, sir, you are able to prepare a radiogram, but we are not able to do that. His reply was, there are two partners to the process of teaching and learning. One is the teacher, the other is the student. You should also build up the same passion as I have then you will not only produce radios, but you may also produce aeroplanes. You will become party to manufacturing aeroplanes. Then what is missing? Something is missing. The missing link is our passion. Passion to learn, passion to practice, passion to innovate. If you have these three passions with you, there will be good news for you. I have seen people who go around offices seeking jobs, but they are turned away every step. But there are people for whom there is no journey to any office. The offices come to them. Offers will be a plenty. Many industries, organizations, they will be in search of them. They will be chasing them. Oh, Baba, join our organization. We'll offer you this. We'll offer you that. See the difference. Both are students. Both have come out from the same college. But one person is after the job, and there is yet another person. Job is after him. Now it's all up to us, how do we dedicate our time, how do we plan our studies, how do we tease our lecturers with thousands of questions until the subject is fully understood by us. If we do that, perhaps you will be the best student, your college will be the best college. I'm told by your vice chairman, that the percentage of first classes in his college touches around 75. So remaining 25%, the job is not to be happy with the mark of 75, the line of 75% of the students getting first classes. But the challenge is to lift the remaining 25 to the level of first class. That challenge lies with the college and the students. So I think uh, with these few thoughts, I must uh, take leave of all of you, wishing you a very bright future. And I hope that you would pay attention to whatever has been told here. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Your presence with us has added value to our program.